Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at adding data labels to a pie chart in Microsoft Excel. Right now I have a pie chart on the screen here and it has a legend. So each of these items corresponds to a slice of the pie. But none of that is giving us detail from the original data such as the number sold per week. We may want to add that as a data label inside these pie chart slices. So I'm going to select on my chart. There are a couple of ways of doing this. One is to right click and choose add data labels and that will add these data labels. I'm just going to undo that and the other method of doing that is to click on this plus sign here and just click on data labels. Now if you do nothing else what you're going to get here is the number that corresponds with the number sold per week. But there is other data that you can add. So let's go back and select our data labels. Always make sure that you have all of them selected because if you click twice you'll have only just one selected. And since we want to affect them all, we want them all to be selected. Now we can right click and choose format data labels. Now format data labels looks a little bit like this is just going to be a color format. It's not. It's actually a full dialogue allowing us to specify what we want in those labels. The other way of doing this is to go to the plus sign here and hover over data labels and click the arrow and then choose more options. That's going to take you to the exact same place. So right now we have value set here. So we're seeing the value from the chart itself. A word of warning here that apart from things like legend key and show leader lines, any of these options here, if you're going to disable them such as disabling value, make sure that you've selected something else first because as soon as you deselect everything then the dialog closes and it's just really annoying. So I'm going to choose category name before I turn off value. So we could actually put the category names here which would avoid the necessity to have a legend for our chart. We can also add percentage and you can see that we can do multiple items here. These are check boxes not option buttons. So we could have the category name and the percentage that it contributes to the total number of pastry items that we sold in a week. We can also add value. So if you've got multiple items here, this is the separator. So you can separate with a comma as I've got here, a semicolon, a period, a new line, so that would give you three line, in this case, three line data labels. Or you can have just a space. I'm just going to use the comma. Now if you decide to place your labels, for example, outside end, you can also add the legend key here. So there'll be a little color dot beside the text here that indicates which portion of the pie this relates to. Not so necessary with this particular chart but if you had a lot of items closer together that might help the legibility of the chart. Now you can also once you've actually selected these options, let me just close this dialog, let's right click here and choose change data label shapes. So we've got a rectangular data label right now but there are other shapes that we could use, for example a rounded rectangle or even one of these little sort of balloon, a speech bubble. So I'm just going to choose the speech bubble and you can see that the speech bubble is now used for our data label. You can see that these speech bubbles have a stroke around them but they've also got a fill so if at any point they move over the actual pie chart itself this white fill is going to show so that's something to look out for. If you don't like that fill you can just select them. They're selected right now. Go up to the format tab on the ribbon, go to shape fill and you could select no fill. You could also select a different color for example if you wanted a sort of blue fill you could choose that as well. Of course if we had labels like this on our chart we would look at removing the legends. So you can just select the legend and delete it because it's not technically required when you've already got the data in the data label. Now this one it looks like has lost its pointer so I'm just clicking on it alone and this is its little yellow pointer so I'm just going to drag that so it's pointing to the actual pie chart element that it relates to. Fruit charts too it's not exactly pointing to the place where it belongs. If you look at this donuts one for example and think that it could be improved in terms of its size you can just come in and adjust its sizing. 
can even make it a little bit smaller so that it runs to multiple rows and so it looks a little bit more like the other options. So there's plenty of things that you can do here in Microsoft Excel to get data labels for your chart. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results every time, then you'll love my other YouTube videos. So give this video a thumbs up and click to subscribe to the channel. And on the screen now, you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you to watch next.